snitched on Young Thug. 1090, you know 1098 got the paperwork. Samsung Stormwash Plus. If the motherfucking police don't got the paperwork, 1098 got it. Man, Curry. what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on rich homie Quan snitching. At this point, I know this I'm not even fake, surprised. Bro. Not only has more paperwork dropped in the YSL case, but in audio recording just... dropped of none other than rich homie Quan spitting a whole verse to law enforcement. Oh god no. Bro my headphones seem low as hell today or something. I don't know. I'm tripping. Ask on what? What paperwork dropped in the white box of spitting a whole to law enforcement about Young Thug? Okay. He can't come that long. Niggas know Thug had something to do with it, they just can't prove it. <clears throat> While it may be hard for some to understand wow. he's speaking a language he talked to the police the of Atlanta, what he's speaking on is the very murder. But is he talking to the police though? <laughs> shell casings up and down the street. Now I'm told one of the men who was shot, a man in his mid-20s, is in critical condition, but that his status could change for the worse overnight. Rich homie Quan's former manager, Donovan Thomas, who went by the name Peanut or Big Nut, was a member of the Inglewood family bloods. His 2015 assassination outside of an Atlanta barber shop would result in a back and forth war between Inglewood family and sex money murder. The majority of the violence would be documented in the YSL indictment. Prosecutors allege Young Thug was in communications with sex money murder leader Kyle Ory, who's currently serving Look, a life sentence on Instagram. in Georgia State Prison. Big Note was said to have snitched against members of the gang, and prosecutors allege Young Thug orchestrated his death by renting the vehicle YSL members would later use to commit the drive-by that took Nut's life. After the hit, Thug and the alleged shooters would take a trip to Miami to lay low. Rich homie Quan would speak with investigators explaining he never saw Thug in Atlanta after the murder. He was going to confront him at a Miami show over the rumors that Thug played a part in Nut's death. Rich homie would allege people knew Thug had something to do with it but they couldn't prove it. He'd then say he isn't a rat, and he isn't telling. He's just keeping it real with investigators. Rich Homie would also allege Thug was jealous of the relationship he had with Nut, as Thug wanted to control the Atlanta music scene, and Nut was keeping Rich Homie at a distance from Thug. This wasn't all Rich Homie would speak on, though. Two pictures of the interview transcripts would make its way to news media. Damn. Rich Homie would state him and Thug frequented or resided in the same condominium leading up to Nut's death and that they were cool. But after the murder, they drifted apart. 
14 minutes into the interview, Rich Homie would speak on his truck being shot up and immediately calling Young Thug, alleging his people were behind him. He'd then speak on his father's barber shop being shot up and no one who ever did it had something to do with Nut's death. Four months before Nut was killed, a gunman would open fire inside of a barber shop striking Rich Homie's father four times. Damn! The barber shop had just been <coughs> shot up a month prior to this incident. Investigators believed the attack stemmed from Rich Homie beefing with local rappers, but at the time, Rich Homie Quan denied the rumors. Now speaking with investigators, when asked why his father would be targeted, Rich Homie explained at the time, him and Thug were doing shows together, but he was getting the most money. They wanted his dad out of the picture to further control Rich Homie's management, and they knew his dad was at the barber shop 24 So his daddy was his manager? He had no proof Thug was behind the shooting, but he did bring up an argument his dad had with Birdman. His father wouldn't share the details on what was said, but would later tell him we're gonna fall back from him. 22 minutes into the interview, Rich Homie was asked why he wouldn't sign with Birdman. And he explained other artists are constantly complaining about their financial situation. Yeah. He felt he'd make more money on his own and then laid a sign. Rich Homie would say that after Nut was killed, he didn't contact Thug and Thug didn't contact him. Thug would move out of the condo about two weeks after the murder. And when asked why Thug called him Bitch Homie Quan two months after Nut's death, he didn't have an answer. Providing the investigator with Young Thug's phone numbers, the investigator asked if Thug ever made any to bury messages Thug, to bro. him, but Rich Homie would state he's smarter than that. Roughly 30 minutes into the interview, the paperwork would be cut off. So realistically, we don't know how long Rich Homie sat down with the in the interview, but Rich Homie would state he's smarter than that. But Rich Homie, the investigator asked if Thug ever made any threatening messages to him, yeah. but Rich Homie would state he's smarter than that. What the Roughly fuck? 30 minutes into the interview, the paperwork would be cut off. Nigga so said, realistically, I ain't ready. We don't know how ready. long Rich Homie sat down with the investigators, and then but we do know wow. on the YSL witness list. This leaves the possibility that Rich Homie would be called in to testify against Thug, as he'd have to recite everything said in the interview in front of Young Thug. So did Rich Homie Quan snitch? Absolutely. He's what alleged the Thug fuck? was behind the murder of the night, the shooting of his father, and the shooting of his truck. Rich Homie would say he's keeping it real with investigators, and regardless of whether or not he portrayed a street lifestyle and a by the street bro. code, this is another major loss to in the do city of Atlanta as another Atlanta rapper <clears throat> has cooperated. Now this is bad, and from what I heard from a source in Atlanta, the DA is trying to find out who's leaking all this, and they're trying to put charges on people for leaking this information because stuff like this will make a witness not want to cooperate and if a witness is like hey i just got exposed by so and so and they just released all this stuff that y'all said wasn't going to get released i don't want nothing to do with this i don't want to testify the courts can then charge that person with tampering with the witness you just affected the case by fucking up a witness testimony so this is getting deep. They're trying to find out who exposed 